So a cop is on trial for killing a young man with sandwiches. Put up the picture for a mask. He was holding sandwiches. In Columbus, Ohio, Jason Mead on the right, a former deputy for the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, is now on trial for murder and reckless homicide for fatally shooting a 23 year old named Casey Goodson Jr. on the left. This happened in 2020. The young man had gone to the dentist that day and got three Subway sandwiches before he was killed in front of his 72 year old grandmother and two toddlers. The story is quite horrific. Goodson parked in front of the house, walked across the front yard, and was entering the home through the side entrance when he was shot, according to Sean Walton, a lawyer representing the family. When Goodson's grandmother grandmother heard the shots and screams of the toddlers, she rushed to the kitchen where the deputy pointed his gun at family members and ordered them out of their own home. That's according to the attorney. The family saw the sandwiches next to Goodson's body, but not the gun, the lawyer said. According to a statement posted by the Columbus police, here it is. The incident involves a Franklin County Sheriff's deputy who was working as a member of of a US Marshals Task Force looking for violent offenders Friday, December 4th, 2020. During an operation in the Northland area of Columbus, the deputy reported witnessing a man with a gun. The deputy was investigating the situation and there are reports of a verbal exchange. The deputy fired at Mr. Casey Goodson resulting in his death. A gun was recovered from Mr. Goodson. Mr. Goodson was not the person being sought by the US Marshals Task Force. Now, here are the events according to the former officer. Meade's defense maintains or maintained Wednesday that Goodson waved a pointed, uh, waved and pointed a gun, a firearm at Deputy Meade from his vehicle. As Meade drove by and that Meade pursued Goodson to his grandmother's home, Meade previously said that Goodson turned to lift his gun before entering the home and aimed it at the deputy, prompting Meade to fire. Meade was not wearing a body camera at the time, so there is no video evidence of the shooting. Now, you know Meade lying, okay? The whole story is insane. In my opinion, obviously, he's lying and lying his ass off. So the cop wants us to believe that a young man who just purchased Subway sandwiches saw a cop and unprovoked said, here you go, pulls out a gun on the cop, waves it around and continues with his Subway sandwiches. Cop pursues him inside of his grandmother's home. And then that's when he decided to lift up his gun, the young man, and Meade had to kill him. You see, here's the problem. Your department, sir, already said that wasn't the person that was the target of your pursuit or the pursuit of the task force. There's more, the prosecution clarifies circumstance of the gun. Uh, in his opening statement Wednesday in the murder case of, of Jason Mead, Special Prosecutor Gary Schroyer um, shared publicly for the first time that 23-year-old Casey Goodson Jr.'s handgun was discovered. Goodson, who fell when he was shot six times with five shots hitting, hitting him in the back, also had a gun holster with no strap around his waist, Schroyer said. However, Schroyer emphasized numerous times on Wednesday that Goodson was holding a bag of sandwiches in one hand and his keys in the other hand at the time he was shot. It was no possible way for forensically he could have had a third hand is the argument of the prosecutor. And bearing arms is bearing arms. You are able to have a gun, all right? There's more. He also said his AirPods was in his ears, sure he said. Neither he nor Goodson's family 
have ever disputed that Goodson could have been carrying a gun, but noted that he also had a license to carry a firearm. All right, now understand the situation, right? White male American with a gun, constitutional rights. Young black male with a gun, police come out with a statement. Yeah, listen, he wasn't the guy we were actually looking for, but he's dead and he does have a gun. See the difference? See the narrative difference? The same rights that the white male alleged patriot has, the 23 year old had those same rights and he had the license. He can carry. That wasn't mentioned in the police narrative. They wanted to make it seem as if he did, in fact, try to kill a police officer. Forensically, the prosecution is saying it's impossible. There's no way the narrative of the cop can even possibly be true. There's more. Um, After Meade was charged, Meade's attorney sought to have the case tried in federal court. Now, I've seen them do this multiple times on these task force. They tried to do it in Atlanta. Uh, So they wanted to move it to the federal court as a step toward having the state charges dismissed. And because it was far less likely Meade would be charged with killing Goodson under federal law. Franklin County prosecutors fought the move in order to keep the charges alive in state court. A federal judge ruled in February 2022 that Meade was not acting in his role as a deputized US Marshal at the time of the shooting and said the murder case must remain in state court. Now here's the irony of this, if, if, He would have been working with his task force. This case goes to federal court. I've seen it happen time and time again. Federal court provides some protections for cops that are not provided in state prosecutions. For example, most states have some level of duty to report. And also many states or many jurisdictions, they have this mandate to have on your body camera. Which also means if you violate that, it can be brought against you in a court of law, all right? It can be introduced as evidence of a guilty conscience, so to speak. But under federal law, that requirement is not there, which means it is inadmissible in federal court. That small barrier can tank a case, all right? So uh, me did not have authority to arrest Mr. Goodson as a task force member and was not acting as a federal officer at the time, federal judge. Edmund Sargas Jr. found Meade was a full time Franklin County Sheriff's Department deputy on a regular assignment with a US Marshal Service Fugitive Task Force immediately before, before, before the shooting. Look at that. It just seems he was determined to shoot somebody that day. Man carrying sandwiches. Exercise his constitutional right, right to bear arms. He shot dead in his grandmother's home with grandmother and the toddlers crying. Why? Jackson, we're going to follow this case, obviously. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, from everything that was laid out, it seems as though uh, a case against Meade is very strong. Um, I mean, they, uh, it, there's really nothing to defend about what he did. He didn't have the right. Um, he wasn't on duty. And, you know, the person that was murdered didn't even have a weapon, but he could have if he wanted to. And right. I think one of the most important things that you pointed out is that the narrative switch, you know, I mean, such that people like, for instance, like uh, the Rittenhouse narrative, he was just mm-hmm. defending himself. I mean, you don't even have to say anything about the verdict, but that's the whole narrative around the case. He was defending himself or anything similar to that is I have the right to have this. Um, and what did Rittenhouse have? And I'm not like com- comparing both of them, but just like the the, the caliber of weapon, giant machine mm-hmm. gun, a giant assault rifle versus, oh, I thought he had a handgun in his pocket. You know, so it, it's uh, the narrative switch really is everything. A dangerous black man with a weapon. Oh, what if he has a right to carry it? You know, so it, it's I think that the case against Meade is very strong. Um, and I certainly hope that he loses. Yeah. So. And uh, I'm 
very thankful for this prosecutor for pressing the issue, not trying to hide behind any veil, and also charging the cop with what the cop should be charged with, and willing to sue, willing to sue the federal government if they try to take this case away from local jurisdiction. That's the way you provide examples of leadership, all right?